Hi everyone, this is me, Pana once again, your Renaissance woman. It's a Saturday and uh, today is the day I would really like to sit down and enjoy my cup of coffee. One thing which gets me out of bed every single day is my first cup of coffee that I make every morning. I grind my own coffee beans and uh, make this coffee and the taste is totally different. Thankfully the weather was good in the morning and my son is still sleeping so I grabbed this opportunity to sit down and have some peace and enjoy my coffee and watch the birds. It's hard to find yourself sitting alone these days and when I do, I sit down and thank the God. I love to look at my veggie garden growing just like I have enjoyed seeing my son grow right from when he was an infant to now. I have the same feeling with my plants. My kale seems to be ready for the second harvest, that's Russian kale, which uh, is also similar. And uh, the other one which I'm going to cut is uh, the dragon kale, if I'm not wrong. So usually what I do is I take them and uh, cut them into small pieces and uh, I actually freeze them for later use. I would not be able to eat it all at once so I use this throughout the year. I'm a very strong believer of reduce, reuse and recycle so I wanted to share with you all today about my thrift store uh, finds which are amazing. What you see here is a, a vintage wooden apple basket which I have used to plant my um, annuals. This chair is also a thrift store find and I have already posted a transformation video of the chair and uh, together both of them have uh, brought a cute cottage look to my front porch. Now this one is a cute little candy jar actually but it did not have a lid so I was thinking what can I use this for and then I found this cute little Boston fern which perfectly fit into the bonbon jar which is so cute isn't it? I just love this gives me such a summery feeling throughout the year even if it is winter here in Canada. I love shopping in thrift stores. What all we find there? This is another metal pot I found which I used for my snake plant. This next find is a metal basket which usually comes in those big gift hampers, um, I think. And I used it to store my toilet paper, the extras that we need. I think it's uh, a cool idea. What do you guys think? Let me know. And look at this cute metal basket that I actually uh, got it from one of my friends who was uh, trying to get rid of it. I thought this looked really nice and pretty 
it it has to be reused so I put a nice pothos plant and what do you all think about it do put in your comments I would love to read them these plants keep me sane in these hard times you would not believe what this is if I tell you this black and white pot is a dustbin which looks pretty neat I thought and wanted to put it for a good use and uh, there you go my plant is liking it and so am I look at my sanctuary here and my next find is a vintage ceramic milk jar which I thought was very cute and I have uh, used it for my pothos with water in it I wonder how old this ceramic jar is who must have used it what is the history behind this all these thoughts come to me my next find is another metal basket which I used to store my fruits there are a lot of them this time so I feel that this is a perfect fit what do you all think do you have any other ideas that I could use this basket for please do let me know I would love to learn it has been hot for a few days so the much needed showers were here and what better than having comfort food in this weather I wanted to just have some soul food which is white rice steamed rice and Indian food which is sambar and some papadums which is a, a great combination this is a meal that I could eat every single day this is my comfort food what is yours let me know don't forget to put it in the comments after a meal like this and a weather like this all I want to do is curl up in my couch and relax don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel until my next video bye bye then